Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your November 2015 monthly tarot reading. So right now I just want to take a second and thank everybody for all of their likes, their shares, their comments. You guys are truly amazing and I especially want to thank everybody who has shown their support for my new series here on my channel. As you know, I already offer the monthly, the general monthly tarot forecast, but now I have recently added the new weekly general forecast. Um, I did ask everybody to give me their feedback when it comes to these new weekly readings. Um, because they do take a lot of work and I you know I really wanted to know if it was something that you were finding helpful and honestly the feedback has just been truly amazing you guys have really um, you know went above and beyond to really reach out to me and let me know that you know you definitely are finding these new readings helpful it's something that you really you know you really are enjoying and and because of that I, I of course will continue on doing these weekly forecast so I really wanted to take a second and thank you you know for for all of your support with the new readings um, now if you are interested in a private reading um, I do have my website linked below this video so you definitely can click on my on my website and and head over there I do have a ton of information on my web page right now what I am offering is um, are two separate readings one is a 30 minute reading and the other is a is an hour reading what I do is I normally ask you to give me um, you know three questions for the 30 minute reading or six questions for the hour reading and then once your reading is finished I do email you the, the private link where only you can actually view your reading here on YouTube um, you know and and the link never does expire so you can save your your reading um, to go back and reference for as long as you'd like you can put it in a playlist or, or, or whatever and it's something that you'll always have. In the future, I do plan on offering Skype, live Skype readings. It's just not something that I have right now, but I am working towards that. Um, so yeah, so I just wanna thank everybody and, and wanted to let you know that I am available for private readings. So definitely head over to my site if you are interested. And I hope you have a great month of November. Hi Pisces and welcome to your November 2015 monthly tarot reading. Alright, so this is for Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and Pisces Rising signs. Alright Pisces, let's, so let's get started. All right, Pisces. At the bottom of the deck, I do have the Five of Wands, Pisces. Um, so this is a card. It's all about petty differences, petty arguments, petty squabblings, um, differences of opinion. It can also be competition within the workplace. Um, it's a very uh, annoying card, an, an annoying um, energy, if you would, with this card. Um, people can kind of maybe try to get under your skin a little bit. Um, or, you know, this can just simply be competition. You know, if you work for a large company, this can be, you know, a lot of competition around you. It doesn't, it doesn't necessarily have to be, um, you know, having uh, differences of opinion with other people or debates or whatnot or arguments. It doesn't have to be like that. It can just simply be representing competition within the workplace. All right, let's take a look at the rest of your spread, Pisces. Okay. Very interesting, Pisces. Very, very, very interesting spread. All right, so at the center of the reading, Pisces, I do have the King of Swords. 
So this is the current situation, Pisces. I would say that, you know, for the majority watching this video, this would be you coming up at the center. This is your energy. You're extremely logical, um, very much uh, determined, focused, um, ready for action, ready to conquer, ready to go after whatever, whatever it is, um, you know, whatever the goal is for you in November. If you're working a lot, if you want a certain position, um, if you have something on your mind, um, the King of Swords is extremely logical. He's intelligent. He is my warrior king. Um, very serious person. He can sit in judgment um, sometimes. Um, you know, that's the flip side of him. He can be a little bit critical sometimes and a little bit too judgmental. He can be very sharp with his tongue as well. But if there's no need for it, then, then of course, um, you know, that's just the flip side of him. The positive side of him is this is a man. He really goes after um, what he wants. So no matter if you're male or female, this is just saying your energy for the month of November, you're extremely determined, extremely um, very serious, um, very focused and, and ready um, to pursue whatever it is that, that you're after in the month of November. Very serious attitude, very serious energy here. Um, you're also extremely sharp, extremely sharp. Um, you are being crossed, so this can be what's either helping or hindering you, this, this crossing card here, by the Four of Swords. So I feel like for some Pisces, um, you know, you've taken some sort of break, you've, you know, the Four of Swords is someone, you know, um, taking a break, recharging their batteries, um, getting the, a little bit of R&R, &R. and I would say this feels like, for some Pisces, um, you're coming in strong, you're extremely focused, um, like this King of Swords, and it's because, you know, maybe in October... Um, or at some point previous, you know, you were able to take that break. So your batteries are recharged. You're able to come in. You're coming in um, running. You're coming in extremely strong. Um, and then for other Pisces, because this, this is a general reading, I feel for some Pisces, you know, this is going to be the challenge in, in November. You're going to be so busy, um, you know, either working a lot or whatever it is, um, for you, you know, you're just going to be so busy that this is the challenge, um, getting a little bit of rest, getting a little bit of you time. Um, I just see you um, kind of go, go, go. And, you know, it looks like really at the top of your game, Pisces. This is a very, um, a very determined energy here. Now, what I have at the foundation is actually the temperance card. Beautiful, beautiful card, beautiful, lovely energy. And you know, when I see this card in a spread, I do know, Pisces, that you are being divinely guided. You have angels, you have spirit guides around you helping you. Um, it's just a lovely card. It represents healing. Um, there were, you know, for some Pisces, you might have, you know, gone through some sort of healing period. Um, you know, this card is also letting me know that you are emotionally balanced. Um, you know, very, very, very nice card to have. And this is right at the foundation. So, you know, for some Pisces, you've healed, you're emotionally balanced, and now it's like you're ready for action. You're ready, you're coming in very powerful, very strong here in the month of November. Now, what I have in the recent past Pisces is Queen of Swords. <laughs> um, so, um, you know, this, this King of Swords energy, you know, him and the Queen of Swords, they have, you know, some similar characteristics here. So, you know, this can be your energy in the recent past. The Queen of Swords can be your energy um, in the recent past. 
um, or this literally can be a person in your recent past. This can be an air sign, which would be um, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Um, it can be male or female, just because I don't attach gender to my cards. Um, again, extremely um, intelligent. Um, she's extremely focused. She's determined. This is my warrior queen. Um, very independent. Um, strong-minded, strong-willed. She can have a sharp tongue. Both of these characters hold, you know, swords, and they're not afraid to cut, you know, either negative people or situations out of their life. They are, you know, they don't mess around, um, this couple here, the king or the queen of swords. They don't mess around. Um, they're very focused, um, uh, very analytical people. So this is the queen is coming up in your recent past, and you have the king at the center. So, very interesting. And what's crowning you is the king of pentacles. So, you have quite a few people right here, right at, you know, in the center of, of the, the spread here. So, this is crowning you, Pisces, the king of pentacles. Um, so, you know, I know you have money on the mind, you can have an earth sign. This can be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn person that maybe you're thinking about or, you know, is important this month of November. Um, you know, some of you Pisces might be in a relationship with a, with an earth sign or, um, you know, um, just, you know, be dealing with one or, or, or something like that. Um... And if they're not an earth sign, because they don't have to be, they can just have the King of Pentacles characteristics, which he's extremely grounded, practical. Um, he's a businessman. He's, you know, very good with numbers. So this could be like an accountant or something like that. Um, he's a family man. He likes being at home, but he also, you know, um, likes a little bit of excitement. Um <sighs> just extremely grounded, practical. Um, so this could be a person in your life or, you know, this could just be what's on your mind. And we're saying, you know, your business, your business, um, minded this month of November, you have money on your mind. You have, you know, maybe your job career on your mind. Um, you know, uh, you're coming in extremely focused, determined, um, ready for action uh, this month of November. And that could be something to do with, you know, your career. So this is what's crowning you, um, Pisces. What I have <laughs> in the, the near future, so this was the near, this was the recent past. This is the near future. We have the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> And now, mind you, I use this stack all the time. It's not like these cards were not shuffled. Of course they were. Um, a lot of people here. A lot, a lot of people. A lot of energies. Um, queen of Pentacles now. So you had the Queen of Swords, the King of Swords, King of Pentacles, and now we have the Queen of Pentacles. So, you know, Pisces, you might have a lot of people around you. Um... Or it's just saying that you're extremely focused, extremely determined, and that's in regards to career and money. Um, again, this can be an earth sign person coming in the near future. These two people can absolutely be the same person. You know, um, maybe, you know, if you do have like an earth sign or someone who's extremely grounded, practical, um, that type of personality in your life, that type of character in your life, absolutely, this can be the same person. But um, if not, this is, you know, you could be focusing on the home in the near future. This is someone who, you know, again, very business minded, someone who's, you know, working hard, making money, um, extremely practical and grounded at the same time. Um, the queen of pentacles represents the home as well. So, um, she's a businesswoman. Um, she certainly does like to get out. She enjoys, you know, um, the nice little luxuries that life has to offer, you know, nice restaurants and things like that. 
um, going to nice places, but she also likes to be at home. She likes both. Um, the the best things from both worlds, if you would. Um, she's very well rounded, um, and she's very nurturing. She is uh, the all time um, motherly type of woman. She's very domestic. She has a lot of the similar characteristics to the Empress. Um, so this could be you in the near future, Pisces. These could be some of the um, characteristics that you're taking on. This sort of energy. Or this literally could be an earth sign or just someone with this type of energy or these type of characteristics that's coming in the near future. And very well, this could be the same person that is on your mind um, now coming in in the near future, Pisces. Um, and I would say the near future, this is looking to be around um, the second week of November. Now, what I have as your power in the situation is the seven of cups so this is a very dreamy card this card has a very dreamy energy to it um it talks about fantasizing and dreaming a lot about things you know that you would like to maybe manifest in your life um this card also talks about having a lot of different options so you right now currently um, in the middle of November might have a lot of options at hand. This can also bring um, a kind of indecisive energy. Um, having too many options can leave us sometimes a little bit indecisive. Um, what I have coming up external, and this is how, you know, people view you as well, is, is the Two of Cups. So um, for some Pisces, I would say it's very likely that the person that was on your mind that possibly can be an earth sign or have these very um, earthy traits, um, you know, if people are seeing you like the Two of Cups, you know, they're possibly seeing you in love, they're seeing you happy, they're seeing you in love. Um, you know, so they can be seeing you in a relationship, Pisces. So for some Pisces, I feel like you are probably in a relationship with an earth sign. Or, you know, maybe you just started dating an earth sign. You're spending a lot of time together. You know, people are viewing you like you're, you're maybe falling in love or you're extremely happy. The Two of Cups is, you know, you're emotionally fulfilled. You're you know, you're, you have a very deep connection with another person, a very, um, strong bond, you know, a lot of chemistry, um, it reps, represents, you know, emotional fulfillment. Um, so this is how people view you. What I have coming up in your hopes and fears is the four of pentacles. So you're hoping to maybe save a lot of money, the Four of Pentacles is a card that's very conservative and it talks about saving your money more than spending it. Um, so, you know, for some of you Pisces, if you just landed a job and maybe that's why you're extremely focused right now and determined, um, you know, that could be why you want to save money. If you just recently fell in love, you just, you know, you're in a relationship, you know, maybe you're saving money so you guys can vacation together or get married one day or something like that you know this this is just saying that you you know you're you're hoping to maybe put some money away and save some money now what i have coming in pisces for the final outcome is a very nice card it is the star the star is another card that talks about angels and spirit guides around you, guiding you. This is, you know, this is a beautiful card, one of my um, all-time favorite cards. Um, it's also known as a wish card. It can be like a wish that's being granted here at the end of November, which is really beautiful. Um, and the card is reassurance. The card is... A beautiful card that lets you know to you know always remain hopeful always keep your faith and know that better days are around the corner better days are coming in it's a beautiful card about hope and and it's reassuring you you know that better days are coming in so right now Pisces I'm gonna shuffle you an additional guidance card just for you to leave 
this reading with some additional guidance for the month of November. So please show me an additional message for Pisces. Please show me Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, Pisces Rising. Please show me Pisces. Cards are flipping. None flipped out yet, but they're flipping. This did fly out, so I am going to take it, Pisces. And it is Ray. Yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being and peace of mind and spiritual growth right now. So this is a card that's talking about your health. And it's talking about your physical body, your physical health, and your mental health as well. You know, letting you know that yoga and exercise are essential right now they help your well-being they help your peace of mind you know and your spiritual growth um so that is the additional message from spirit i am going to read you the message from the book and it says you have received strong guidance to engage in yoga and other forms of exercise, and this card serves as additional validation. A physical movement is essential to realizing your dreams, desires, and intentions. It gives you the energy and vitality that will help you begin and complete your projects. It opens you up to new creative ideas, and yoga cleans and enlarges your chakra centers so that you can hear our angelic guidance loud and clear yoga also allows a noisy mind to become quiet so that it can meditate and hear the voice of heaven although you feel intimidated by yoga or exercise i will help you smooth the way if you ask me i will help you tailor an ex tailor an exercise program to fit your schedule interest and fitness level you will receive this guidance in the form of repetitive thoughts and feelings and also through information about yoga or exercise that comes to you from out of the blue. I know that you view the equivalent of more hours in your day. So very nice, very interesting reading, um, Pisces. Very good advice with this card, um, especially if you're extremely busy with this energy of the King of Swords and you're, you know, you're really on the go, on the go, um, you know, working a lot or w w whatever this is for, for each and every one of you, you know, if you do squeeze in a little bit of yoga or, or exercise, it will actually give you more energy and help you within, you know, your day to day um, uh, task in life. Um, definitely a beautiful reading, a beautiful month, Pisces. A lot of people here, I feel like for you know, um, a good percentage of Pisces, this is definitely someone that you might be in a relationship with. Um, you end with the star and, and, you know, you have the, t the temperance card here as well. Um, so a lot of healing, a lot of, um, divine guidance, um, and, and a lot to look forward to Pisces. I wish you a great month of November. Take care.